Hello everyone, Eagle here bringing you another exciting tutorial video. Today we're going to be talking about the basics of save editing and how to change the color on your trailer, something that I get asked about quite a lot. So let's get started here. Get back into the game. All right, so we're sitting here at Portland Cargo Central, and I've just picked up this uh, white, uh, you know, typical reefer trailer. Nothing fancy at all. So what we're going to do is we're going to make this trailer red, make it match the truck here. So the first thing that we want to do is uh, we're going to hit our quick save button and make a quick save. One thing that I do recommend also doing whenever you're doing save editing is to create a uh, normal save as well. So we'll just go in here and make a save. Just in case anything screws up making the uh, save edits, that way you'll have your uh, original save there that you can revert back to if you need to. Then we're going to go ahead and tab out of the game. Now the next thing that we need to do is go into our American Truck Simulator folder in our documents. And we're gonna go to the same place that we would go um, to point it to our quick save in Speditor. So what we'll do is we'll just go into profiles. I already know that this one here is the one that I'm currently using. You can see the date modified is uh, today's date. Well, at least the day I'm making the video. <laughs> and then we'll go in here. Uh, we will go into the save folder here. And we'll go down to our quick save. Now, what I have done is I've already got this in here. Uh, most likely you won't have this SII decrypt.exe. And that's fine. Um, I just put it there because I do this a lot and it makes things go a little quicker. So what we're going to do next is open up our virtual speditor folder. Inside of the virtual speditor folder, down here we have siidecrypt.exe. Now what we're going to want to do, let's move that out of the way a little, is we take this game.sii file. Just click and drag it, and drag it over and drop it on that siidecrypt.exe. That's going to decrypt this file so that it's actual text, rather than uh, being a bunch of gibberish. If we were to look at a file that's still encrypted... Oh, that's not the one. If we look at one that's not unencrypted here... Um, it's going to have a bunch of random stuff like this. Really meaningless. However, if we uh, have decrypted the file, what we can do is uh, you can either just go to edit and it'll open up inside of the Windows Notepad here. However, I prefer to use Notepad++, so I'll just go to edit with Notepad++. And then it opens this up and it's all actual text that can be read. Now, don't worry what any of this means. Uh, there's a lot of information that's held in here, but there's only one bit that we actually need to worry about. So hit Control F on your keyboard. That'll open up a fine window for you, whether you're a notepad or a notepad plus plus. And then you're gonna wanna type in player underscore job. And then search for that. Once you find where it has player underscore job, that's going to be the job that you currently have and therefore the trailer that you have. Um, keep in mind this is for uh, freight market jobs, not for a cargo market with your own trailer because you can just change that color in the garage. So in here we've got this first section here, all this that's player job. Don't worry about any of this. Just scroll down below it. The next section is going to be your trailer for that job. This uh, is telling it all the information about the trailer, uh, the weight, the cargo, 
things like that, what sort of trailer it is, um, and what accessories the trailer has. Also not important to what we're doing here. Just keep scrolling down under it a couple more sections, and you're going to see a section that looks like this. Vehicle paint job accessory. Now, in here, we've got a few different things. The first thing to note is down here at the bottom, this data path. The trailer that I already have in the game is just a blank trailer. There's no company logos on it or anything. However, if I had picked up a uh, trailer that had a company logo, we would need to change this right here first. Um, it might say something like uh, Chems or uh, Walbert. Let's see. Uh, looks like it's not wanting to pull up some of them. That's okay. Um, but it might have a company name there. It, it will if you have a company logo on the trailer. If you have that logo, you need to first change this line to default.sii at the end there. Just like mine already was to begin with. Then above it, you're going to see these three sections. These are your colors for the trailer. Don't worry about any of these up here. Leave them how they are. But these down here will let you adjust the uh, color. The main one that we need to worry about is the base color here. The flake color and flip color only apply if it's a metallic paint job, um, which most trailers are not going to have a metallic paint job, so don't worry about those. Now, on base color here, you'll see it's currently set to 111. That's the code for white. Um, this is RGB, red, green, blue, uh, color mixing. So the first number here indicates the red, the second one indicates the green, and the third one indicates the blue. Now, uh, you can only use ones or zeros in these as far as actual numbers. If you want to use increments in between zero and one, it would have to be converted into a format like this. Um, and that's a whole nother thing. So we're not going to worry about that at the moment. Um, but to make it red, it's really straightforward. Like I said, red, green, blue. All three of them, when you're mixing light and uh, colors in that way, give you white. So currently white. If they were all zero, it would be black. To make it red, we'll just change that one and that one both to zeros. So now it's all red no blue or no green and no blue um, you can you know if you mix full values uh, so ones in these other spots you can get other colors as well um, so like this would be all red if we had zero here and a one there that would be completely green um, and this one here would make it completely blue we could also for instance mix uh, green and blue like that to get like a turquoise color. Um, you could mix blue and red like so, and that would get you a pink and so on and so forth. It's uh, all just color mixing. So like I said, we're going for red, so we're going to make it one comma zero comma zero. Then once we have that set correctly there and that set to default down here, we're just going to go ahead and save the file, um, either using the save button, file save, which we would uh, it would be lit up if I hadn't already saved, or you can just hit control S on your keyboard. Then that's all there is to it. We're done with that. We can go back into our game. And what we're going to want to do is just like with Speditor, we will go and load our quick save since that's the one we were modifying there. And once it loads back in here, we now have a red trailer. Simple as that. So that's really all there is to uh, changing your trailer color. It's pretty straightforward. Um, there are a lot more other things that can be done in save editing, and I'll uh, be making some more videos coming up about those things. But for changing the trailer color, that's really all you need to know. 
So there you have it, guys. Uh, next time you're doing a run. Um, this works for any of the reefers, the insulated or dry vans. Um, it'll also work for any of the tankers, uh, any of the different types of tankers. And uh, the other one that can be done, which I'll show you real quick here, is uh, you can actually, to some extent, change the color of the low boy trailers that the uh, things like excavators and uh, uh, forklifts, you know, any, any of that sort of thing, the trailers they're on. I'm just going to get rid of this one here real quick and uh, see if I can find a low boy somewhere here in Portland. Um, unfortunately, you can't change colors on the normal flatbeds. Um, there's no colors to be changed there, so that one can't be done. Um, oh, unfortunately, there is no low boy there. Ah, here we go. Forklifts over in Astoria. So what I'm going to do real quick here is uh, through the wonders of the console, I'm just going to go to Astoria real quick. And let's see, where were we picking up here in Astoria? Sell goods. Just drop our truck there. And we'll uh, grab that low boy trailer real quick. Bear in mind, you do have to actually have the job to be able to do anything with the trailer. So we got that. Looks like uh, it's way back there. So we're just going to cruise on back there. And we will... Is it really around the corner here? Okay. <laughs> um, that's interesting. Not quite sure if I'm going to be able to get this trailer out. I've never had one spawn like this before. Yeah, there's a fence in the way. So what we're going to do is... I'm just going to F7 to the nearest shop here. Get our trailer out of there. That's very strange that that happened, uh, especially since that was a stock job that was in the freight market. I hadn't added it in there or anything. All right, so uh, we're going to just real quickly make it daylight again. All right, so right now the trailer's red. Um, there's red and yellow. Um, there might be a couple of others, but I'm certain about the red and yellow. So what we'll do is exact same thing. I'm gonna make a quick save here. And then uh, go in here, whoops, go to save. And we'll just make another save real quick, just in case. Then we will tab out of the game. And we're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to take that game.sii inside of our quick save, drop it on the SII decrypt, which I just copied over from right here. Uh, just copied it into this quick save folder so it's always there. And then we'll take a look at this one. And same thing. We'll search for player job. Um, it's still right here by it because that's the way this particular Notepad++ works. So we're going to scroll down. Not sure why that file explorer is stuck there. There we go. Um, and we're going to look for just under the trailer. There's one that says low boy chassis underscore R. So right now it's red already. But uh, for the sake of showing you, I'm going to make it yellow. So all we have to do for this one, it's very simple. Take that R, get rid of it, and make it a Y save the file that's it <laughs> so then we can load it in
and now we have the yellow low boy trailer so there you have it guys uh, that's how to change uh, just about any trailer um, at least all of them that can be changed uh, the low boys as well as the tankers and uh, the dry bands insulated and reefers so uh, yeah hope you guys learned something and uh, enjoy being able to change the colors of your trailers have a good one, guys.